Hello everybody, welcome to a new video in which we demonstrate some functionality of our match software. Today we would like to focus on this table here at the bottom right hand side of your match window. This is the so-called match list and here the all phases you have selected as matching that is that are present in your sample are given along with their quantitative amounts. And you can perform a lot of operations in this list actually. For example, you can click on individual lines of the match list and for example view the corresponding data sheet of the entry. You can also move this marked line up or down and uh, the data sheet contents will follow this uh, line. Another feature which is very handy actually is that you can uh, modify the amount that has been calculated automatically at first using for example the mouse wheel. I will just show you and in order to let you uh, see what we are actually doing I will just focus a little bit on this part here of the diffraction pattern and now watch these red lines here which correspond to the peaks of calcite and if I move the mouse over this marked line here at the right hand side and now turn the mouse wheel you can see that the peaks actually go up and at the same time the amount here in this column increases while the amounts of the other phases decrease. Of course this works also the other way around. So this is pretty handy if you would like to modify the automatically determined amount. Another option of the match list is to display the so-called context menu. This can just be performed by clicking with the right mouse button here inside this uh, inside the match list and there are a lot of operations that can be performed from the context menu for example you can remove the marked entry from the match list that is you do no, no longer uh, estimate that this uh, phase is present in your sample. It's also possible to import a so-called predefined selection that is if you already know which phases are present in your sample you do not have to go through all these phase identification steps uh, again and again you just import a file in which all these entries are listed and so you get your match list contents right away you can save the reference pattern that is stored in this entry as well as the complete entry data um, it, if you have run a readfelt refinement it would also be possible to export uh, the refined structure. Then you can save the list here for example as a text file or also as a match answer set file. Um, this answer set file can then be re-imported again using this import predefined selection command. So this is the way how you can define this contents. You can also print the contents of the uh, match list and display the options of it. Another uh, operation that you can perform on the match list is to double click in certain columns of the match list. For example, let's just start with this first one. I will double click here on this red color label and now a new window will be displayed in which I can select the color for this face. For example, I would like to use this blue instead of red. Now press, press OK. You will see that all the peaks that belong to this face have been changed to blue. Another thing is here you can see that for this matched face SiO2 there is no face name given 
so I would like to edit right now and I can do so by double clicking at this column and just give the name quartz and press return and you can see that this has been added right now. Finally you can also modify the contents, the amount of this face, not only by moving the mouse wheel here at the um, right hand side column, but also by double clicking on this column and entering the value manually. If you double click in the column entry or formula, this will remove the face from the match list actually. And the same can be performed by marking a line in the match list and just dragging it to the left into the candidate list. Okay, this was an overview over all the operations you can perform in the match list. I hope that these hints are helpful for you when you are using the match software in your own face identifications. That's all for now. Bye.